What's going on everyone? In this video, I'll be covering the three best SAT reading tricks that you need to know to be successful on the SAT in 2022. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first tip is to read questions first. Now this is pretty highly debated because a lot of people think reading the passage first is better because you might just forget the question by the time you get to the question, even if you were to read the questions first. But I would like to argue that if you read the questions first, then you already know what you kind of are looking for. And now I'm not saying we read the questions, remember every single question, right? You don't have to do that. Just remember like the big idea questions, right? And highlight all the vocabulary word questions. Like for example, say one of the questions is, in line 66, what does this word mean? And when you read, you already have the word highlighted. So you know, okay, let me answer this question right now while I'm reading the sentence. Because let's say you don't read the question first, you finish the entire passage, and then you go to the question and it says, in line 63, what does this word mean? That means you have to go back to the passage, read the sentence again, and that just wastes time. Even if it takes like an extra like 10 seconds, that's 10 seconds that can be spent on a harder problem. Like, a, what is the main idea of this passage? So understanding that you can save time here and there by reading the questions first will actually help you a lot. And like I said, you don't have to memorize every single question. And if you want to memorize maybe two or three questions at once, what you can do is you can write a little note on the passage like main idea of paragraph one. That could be a question or um, author's tone in paragraph three. So then when you read these paragraphs for the first time, you can answer the question right there. And now when you're answering these questions, like after you read the passage, this could be like a sub trick, I guess I'm telling you all. What you want to do is you want to answer the question in your head already before even reading the answer choices, right? Because this way you want to see which answer choice matches your opinion, which answer choice matches your feelings, because that way you're not gonna be influenced by the answer choices. Cause in reading, you know, it's not like math where it's a clear cut answer. Reading is kind of annoying because there can be multiple, you know, answers based on your interpretation. Sometimes it's like, what's the best answer? Well, ST math, they're not gonna say what's the best answer. They're just gonna ask, what is the answer? But ST reading, you gotta, you really gotta think, okay, is this better than, is B better than C, is A better than C? And it's pretty annoying. So that is why I say just pick your own answer and see which one matches yours. It'll save you time, it'll save you stress, and it'll help you do better on the ST reading section. So please read the questions first. So that way, you actually can answer the questions as you go, because if you don't, you're gonna keep flipping back and forth between questions and answers, which is waste time. Cause you probably can do that anyways, right? Cause you can't answer all the questions as you read the first time, but let's minimize that. If you minimize that, you can save a lot of time. Second trick is to annotate. And I know, I know you guys might hate me saying this because your English teachers love telling you to annotate, you know, make the text all pretty with pink and blue and red. No, don't do that. What I'm saying is annotate just with a regular pencil, underline important information, circle important information. You want to annotate because that way you'll be making connections as you read. How many times has this happened where you read the entire passage and you're like, shit, what did I just read? Like, I have no idea what I just read. Yeah, it happens a lot. So if you're annotating, your mind is already active. Your mind is actively interpreting and processing the information that's, yes, you're reading. That way you won't be like, did I just read about Cinderella? Did I just read about freaking Elsa from Frozen. And by the way, I should add this, that no one is grading your annotations. It's not like English class where your annotations, if they're not good, your teacher might be like, hmm, I don't really like this, F, no. No one's gonna read it, okay? No one cares about your prompt. They just care about your answer choices. So annotate for what you see fit, underline whatever you want to, circle whatever you want to, doesn't matter, as long as you understand what you're reading. In fact, one of the best annotations I recommend is just writing maybe three or four sentences, maybe even just two, about this paragraph. So that way you understand the main concept of this paragraph, because a lot of questions are, what's the main idea of this passage? Where is the shift in the author's tone? Where is, what's the main idea of this specific paragraph? So writing these little you know notes along like the margins of these paragraphs will help you answer those types of questions much easier and much faster. Now for the last trick, and this trick hits home to me because man, I hate these types of questions. Passage one, passage two trick. Now this is a very, poorly named trick. So passage one, passage two is probably the hardest passage type to answer on the SAT because it's like you're reading two different passages at once, then you gotta compare them and you're like, bro, this is so much. And it's history of all things. And we all hate history, let's be honest. History passages, we hate it because it's like in 18th century language and it's super old and it sounds like George Washington himself just wrote the passage and we we're forced to read it. But we have to read it because that's what College Board wants, right? So for passage one, passage two, what I like to say is, you want to answer all passage one questions as you read passage one. So this kind of ties into the first trick, right? You want to answer all the passage one questions first. So you want to read the passage one questions first, 
answer passage one, and then, you know, answer the passage one question. And then go to passage two after you read the passage two questions. Then answer the passage two questions once you read the passage two. And then you want to answer the questions that compare passage one and passage two. Follow the strict order, okay? Don't bounce around, because if you bounce around, you're gonna get screwed. See, passage one, passage two questions are already hard as it is, and bouncing around just isn't gonna work. Because if you do that, you're gonna end up just messing yourself up, and you're gonna end up confusing yourself. And like I said, with their 16th century language, it's gonna be super hard to understand the text already. So if you're bouncing around, you're not able to make connections in your brain, you're gonna end up being super lost, and with that, you're gonna fail and you're probably gonna get most of the questions wrong for that passage. Cause it is one of the most heavily missed passages, if not the most heavily type of passage that's missed in terms of question accuracy over all the other passages on the SD reading section. And personally, I hated it. Luckily, I got decent at it. I wouldn't say I got super good at it or anything. I got decent at it because at least I would follow that structure where passage one comes first, then passage two, and then both. Because that's usually the, the order of the questions right um it usually goes past one passage two or both so you want to do that they mess the order up and they ask both the comparison questions like in the beginning yeah skip it no one cares answer the way i said to answer the questions okay if you do that you will be successful on the types of passages these are the three best st reading tricks that i recommend for you all that i want you all to follow so if you like any of these tips be sure to comment down below which tip was your favorite check out my course it's coming out very soon so stay tuned for that peace